welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time i am here with my product consistency practice sheet so i've had a lot of people asking me about it um, because i used to recommend the tammy taylor one which i still feel like it's really good and of course as you can see mine is very similar because i use theirs as an inspiration for mine um since somehow or some for some reason theirs is no longer available um i went on their website and it shows the error you know page um so that's why i decided to just go ahead and create my own uh, practice sheet which you guys will be able to download i will be sure to leave the link to the file down below and all you have to do is just print it off and i i had already started recording the video but sugar and honey were being loud but you know when you print it out it's just gonna be this sheet and what i did is like you could either get it laminated or i just went to dollar general and i bought the uh shoe protectors which is a lot cheaper um it's 20 i mean 20 yeah 20 um sheet protectors and you just put your sheet in this um protector and that way you can just practice you know and you can just wipe it off after you're done and you can keep reusing the same page that way you don't have to you know keep printing it out and even you know you definitely do not want to just practice over just the paper because it's not going to work too well so just make sure that again you either laminate it or you put it into a sheet protector but anyways Again, this is the product consistency practice sheet. Um, as you can see, it's really similar to the one by Tammy Taylor because I use theirs as an inspiration. But I just have some information about, you know, your brush as far as like, you know, just labeling the parts of the brush, which is your handle, the belly, the tip, and the ferrule. And um, we have some, you know, written instructions on how to pick up your bead. Um, and then we also have a little bit of information over here on the other side. And this little thing I actually got directly from the Tammy Taylor practice sheet. I did, you know, list my source, which is Tammy Taylor. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of read through it. So um, it says, when applying acrylic, it is very important that you first place your liquid to powder ratio. Oh, sorry, that you first practice your liquid to powder ratio to help with the consistency of your beads. By following the... Um, by following these steps, you will be able to pick up a perfect large, medium, or small bead each time. Um, and then the instructions are, first dip the entire body of the brush into your monomer, which the, you know, this right here. Um, after that, you're going, where was I at? Into the monomer, okay, then wipe the brush in the dappen dish away from you. For a large bead, only wipe the tip of the brush. For a medium bead, wipe halfway. And for a small bead, wipe most of the brush off. Once you have dipped your brush and have um, wiped it off based on the size speed you need, drag your brush away from you in the polymer. Next, place the product on the nail. Lift, lift, let product flow for 35 seconds, then gently pat product on the nail and stroke. So those are just your written instructions. We have people that are, you know, visual learners or you know auto, what do they call i forgot what it's called but so you know if you need the written instructions they are here we also have a little bit of information over here on the side and it has a little picture so it's showing you that that's how the product should look on the brush um and it says it should have a texture and look like a pearl and uh it should be slightly rounded and if it's not like that then you should clean your brush off and get a new bead also right here in the picture, it shows you that you have to dip your brush, wipe it off, and then drag when you go in the powder. So it also tells you that your liquid is monomer and your polymer is, or sorry, your powder is polymer. It's easier for me to just say liquid and powder, but you know, if you want the technical term, it's monomer and polymer. And then there's another note right here that says um, dip brush into liquid all the way. Um, if you want a small bead, drain more liquid from your brush. If you want a large bead or large ball, drain less liquid. To drain, wipe one side of the brush away from you, then drag the tip of your brush towards you across the powder until you see the right size ball. Drag brush slightly to, uh, for small beads or drag deeper for larger beads. And again, this is straight out of the Tammy Taylor's practice sheet, so I listed my source. Um, 
Of course, I have my social media, which is getting old 32 on Instagram. And then right here, we have a list of our instructions, which is basically the same thing that we or that I listed right here. Um, but first is to dip your brush into the monomer, then you wipe your brush away from you, then you dip it into the powder, then you um, dip, sorry, drag towards you. Um, you place the product on the nail, you let the product flow for three to five seconds, you pat the product. Um, on the free edge and then you stroke the nail um, and then after that it just says time to practice follow the uh, steps above to practice your bead consistency once you perfect your bead consistency practice the four bar or uh, four bead acrylic application below and remember that it's all about practice patience and dedication you guys know that i cannot stress that enough but i always talk about that because this is not something that you're going to be able to do on your first try and be good at it it's going to take a lot of practice but anyways we're going to go ahead and get started i already poured my monomer into the little dappin dish because again i had already recorded this video but sugar and honey were making a lot of noise so i had to start over um, but the acrylic that I'm using is the Cover Nude Blush by Mia Secret. The reason why I'm using this is because since the sheet is white, I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, I might even try, I mean, I still might try the regular Mia Secret Pink, but I'm just going to use this so you can see exactly what I'm doing. For my monomer, of course, I'm using my Mia Secret monomer. And then I poured a little bit of acetone into the monomer because you guys know that I always talk about how liquidy um, the Mia Secret acrylic is, which is perfect for beginners because it gives you a good amount of time to, you know, smooth your acrylic out. But for someone that's been doing nails for a while, it's a little bit too runny for us because we want the product to dry, you know, a little bit faster. Um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using my Alpha Brush in a number 10. Um, and then it's an oval shape and I'll be sure to leave the link down below to these products as well. Um, but, but again, the first thing that we do, let me make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. So again, based on the sheet, let's see. I want you guys to be able to see everything that I'm doing. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I want you guys to be able to see the sheet, the uh, polymer, and the monomer so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. But based on these steps, we're gonna go ahead and just, you know, read through them again. So again, we're gonna dip our brush into the monomer. I know that I'm gonna start off with the big beads, so, you know, I'm gonna just wipe my brush off just the tip of it because, again, if you want a big bead, you only wipe, you know, a little bit of the monomer away. So just the tip, and then for a medium bead, you wipe, you know, more of your brush, and then for a small bead, then you would wipe, you know, almost your whole brush. Um, so once I dip it into the monomer, we're gonna wipe the brush away from us. Um, so let's see. So I dip it in, and I want a large bead, so I'm just gonna wipe the tip of my brush, and as you can see, I'm brush, I mean, I'm wiping away from me. Um, so again, just dip it, wipe away from you, and since we're doing a large bead, I'm only wiping my tip off. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and dip it into my polymer, and when we drag, we're gonna drag towards us. So in the monomer, we um, wiped away, and then in the polymer, we wipe towards us, or drag, sorry. So we drag, and I probably wiped too much of my monomer off, but I'm gonna go ahead and just place it down. I placed it down, and we're gonna go ahead and let the product flow for three to five seconds. As you can see, it didn't, you know, if it was too liquidy, it would have went all over the place. And if it wasn't enough product, then, you know, it would have, it wouldn't even come off my brush. But as you can see, it was literally like the perfect size. You don't want it to, you know, run outside of the circle. So mine ran out just a tiny, tiny bit, but, you know, it kind of fit in there almost perfect. And then you would just, you know, pat it down when you're working on here, but, you know. Um, and then, you know, when you're doing it on the nails, you would pat and then brush it down. But on here, we're just going to go ahead and just pat it down. So next, for a medium bead, we're going to dip it into the monomer. Again, wipe away from us. But since we want a medium bead, we're going to just wipe half of the brush off. The first time we only, you know, brushed um, the tip. This time we brushed like um, or wiped the half of the brush. So I placed my bead down, as you can see, that one had a little bit more liquid in it, 
but you know, I can always just kind of mess with it and it's, it wasn't really too bad. So just like that, but really this one did have a lot of liquid. As you can see, it kind of ran over to the sides a lot more, but that's what we're practicing for. Next, we're gonna do a small bead. So for a small bead, we dip our brush and we're, we're gonna wipe the entire brush off. And remember that you wipe away from you and then we drag towards us. So as you can see, I only grabbed a little bit. So just like it says on here, that you wanna make sure that you, um, it says for, let's see, hold on, let me place it down and then I can talk. So that's the small one. And on here it says drag your brush lightly. So as you can see, like I'm doing it really lightly. When I'm doing a larger bead, I go in a little bit deeper when I'm doing a medium one. And you can still see where I grab my beads. Even like the little, you know, circles get smaller as I went. So that was the large one, that was the medium one, and that was the small one. So next we're gonna just do the same thing. So again, just dip your brush in, wipe the tip of your brush off, and then drag towards you, set it down, let it flow for three to five seconds. And th with this one again, we're not really having to do too much padding because you know, we're just doing a bead but you can push it in if you need to. Now we're doing a medium one, so we dip it in, wipe half of the brush off, dip it into the polymer, place it on the sheet, place it right inside the circle. And for some reason, my medium ones, I guess I'm not wiping my brush enough. Let's see, I'm gonna do another medium. So brush it or dip it, wipe, Dip it into the polymer. And so you're kind of just gonna have to mess with it because obviously I grabbed a lot of product for that one. So just kind of mess with it. You know, it's gonna be different for each one, but that's what, you know, we're working on is trying to figure out how much product we need, you know, whether you might need to wipe a little bit more, you know, or less. It's going to be different for everyone. Also, depending on what brush, um, what size brush you're using, um, that has a lot to do with it as well. Um, let me see. I'm going to tell you what not to do. So you don't want to go. A lot of people like don't even think about it, but they'll go like from their liquid. Don't even wipe their brush off. Go in here, get a bead, place it down and look. It's way too much liquid, like way, way too much. So you always wanna, you know, keep it in the back of your mind, like, okay, big bead, wipe the tip. Medium bead, wipe halfway. A small bead, wipe the entire brush. That way that doesn't happen because if that was to happen on the nail, like the product would have been all over the sides of the nails and it would have been a disaster. So I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen if we don't, like if we like say, I want a large bead, but I wipe too much off. Let's see. see, it's a lot of powder. Like the bead is not even going to want to go down because it's way too much um, powder and not enough liquid. So that's why, you know, we're practicing this because we don't want that to happen. We also don't want this one to happen, which, you know, it turned out okay, but it was hard to place it down because it was so much liquid. Um, I'm gonna do, let's see, I have a little bit of white acrylic right here. This is actually the Glam and Glitch. Um, so I'm gonna do one of these nails. And when I was in school, this is how we practice our um, pink and white nails. So we would do the white on the tip and then the pink at the back. And it was the hardest thing for me. Like it was, you know, it was always a disaster and I had to practice so much. Um, but of course, you know, just make sure that you practice and you do it over and over and over again until your beads kind of look like this, you know, consistent and you want to make sure that, you know, they're pretty all pretty much all consistent. So when you're doing, you know, full set of nails, like for like a first bead, this will be a good size, but maybe when you get around a cuticle area, you might need a medium bead or a small bead, you know, it's going to be different for each case. Um, depending on what size, you know, what nail you're on, like if you're on your thumb or the pinky, you know, you might need more or less acrylic, but you need to be able to know how, mu how much of the liquid to remove from your brush 
to be able to pick up the size bead that you want. Um, so just make sure that you practice that. Um, remember again, practice patience and dedication. So you wanna just do this over and over and over again to achieve you know, what we're looking for. But I'm gonna practice one of these. It's been so long since I've done it. So I'm gonna go in with my white, which would be like a medium sized bead. I'm gonna place it right at the tip. And again, this is how we practice our pink and white nails in school. So once you apply your white, you pat it down and then I'm brushing it up towards like the little, you know, to create the smile line. So pat it down and make sure that when you pat, you're patting like evenly all the way out because if not, you know, like the nail is going to be kind of lopsided or it's going to be thicker on one side than the other. And then with the very tip of my brush, make sure that you wipe your brush off. I'm going to go in with the tip and just clean up my smile line. Just like that. I'm going to push the acrylic back in. And then my free edge. And I know we used to always have to make sure that we, you know, worry about the small line first because you could always go back and, you know, shape up the nail, but you could not go back and fix your small line. Once the small line dries, like that's it. It's no going back. So you want to make sure that you have a nice small line. And again, I'm just doing this one because we used to do this in school and I just kind of had a flashback. But once you have your white down and it's nice and even, we're going to go in. I'm just going to use that same pink. And this was the hardest thing for me because I used to see I got a small bead. So for this one, it would be a small bead. But I used to have a really hard time because I would always get the pink on the white. So the key is to not like brush it onto the, you know, the um, white. Just place it right there. Now I'm going to go in with the third one. So again, I'm just dipping my brush wiping off the entire brush because i only want a small bead and it tells you to wipe away from you i mean towards you but i for some reason i always wipe away from you or away from me so just do whatever you feel comfortable doing you know do as i say and not as i do is kind of the thing right now but i really don't know what the difference is between wiping away from you or towards you so just do whatever you feel comfortable with when it comes to picking up your bead Okay, so let's see. So see, even after we've already applied the white, is we can still go back in and play with it, which is what I like about, well, this is Glam and Glitz, which Glam and Glitz, I feel like it's not that much different from Mia Secret. Um, you know, it dries a little bit faster than Mia Secret, but they're, you know, right around the same uh, consistency. But now I'm gonna go in with the fourth bead and I'm just gonna use the same pink. We're placing it right in the middle. And then we're gonna brush it towards see i don't want to get it on the white which is what i just did so really i should have probably got it clear and encapsulated this with the clear that's it i still can i'm just gonna go in with the mia sticker pink that's gonna be my fourth bead i grabbed like a large bead to encapsulate it so i place it at the back i'm gonna pat it down and gently stroke and make sure you wipe the sides that's like when you're doing nails you know just on the client you know just on the sheet but it's the same thing i wipe my sides i wipe my free edge and also clean around the cuticle area and of course you're not going to really be able to do your apex on this practice sheet but you kind of get the concept but that's what my little nail looked like a lot better than when I used to practice in high school um, but yeah so you kind of get the gist of it um, so again I will have this practice sheet available for you guys to download it and you know print it out and just put it into a plastic sleeve or just get it laminated whatever works for you but when you um, you know when you use the or when you put it in the um, protector sheet, as you can see, you can just take them right off and you can just use, you know, white to just clean off your, um, your sheet or your protector and you can just, you know, use it whenever you want, but pretty nice and simple. Again, we have instructions. We have, you know, a little picture with the brush just showing you the different, um, 
parts of the brush we have instructions on dipping your brush um, we have the bead so you can practice your bead consistency but make sure that you get this down before you move on to the four ball method because if you don't know how much product to get you know how to um you know get a big bead a medium one or a, or a small one you're not going to be able to achieve this look because then you know your beads are going to be all over the place it could be too dry too wet whatever the case may be so make sure that you practice these before you move on to this um but yeah so i wanted to keep this video nice and short so um as always i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at getno32. And of course, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you are notified every time that I post. And I'll see you guys next time.